Hey everyone, it is Weaving Wednesday. So the wallet I'm going to show you how to make in this tutorial is a tri-weave. It will look like, oh my god, I just realized these are Pokemon colors. Anyway, so it is a tri-weave bifold. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the tri-weave. And the weave is actually really simple. It's actually nothing different than this weave at all, except for the colors that you do just your three instead of two, and I will show you. So this will be this tutorial, and also be sure to check out last week's tutorial on just a regular woven bifold wallet. But let's jump into the tutorial on the triweave. So the supplies that you are going to need are three colors of duct tape, a ruler, I just use a metal one, and you're also going to need an X-Acto knife with a very, or not very, but semi-sharp blade, and finally some clear tape. So the first thing that you are going to do is take three strips of tape there, three colors you're using, and that are eight inches long, and cut them in half. So the first thing you're going to do is peel off your strip and then fold it into it so that's a third of the way in. Then you're going to take the rest of that half and fold it inward so that you have a nice rounded strip. So just do that to all of your strips. So now you're going to take a nine inch strip of tape and cut it in thirds for each color you're doing and then cut that whole strip in half. Now to fold these strips, you are just going to do the exact same thing we did before. So if you need to rewatch that, then go ahead. So now we're going to take an 8 inch strip of tape that we want to be our trim and cut that in half. Now we are going to take our 3 inch strips of tape and take the 8 inch piece that we just cut in half and stick them to it just like this. So you're going to want to make sure it's a fourth of an inch. So I advise doing the first one like you would trimming it. And then once you have that one, you can pretty much just make sure they're all straight on there according to the first one. So that's just what I did. And you're just going to want to do that for the whole thing. So now once it's like that, you're going to take the first color that you did in your pattern and start off with that, which in my case is red. So you're going to start with it over one and then under the second one then over, and then under. A misconception a lot of people have is that the tri-weave is a whole new different kind of weave. It's actually not. If you can tell, I'm just weaving normally. It's just the pattern that you do the colors in is what gives it the tri effect. So just keep going over, under, over, under for the whole thing, and then you can kind of see the tri start to form right there. Then I'm going to take the second color in my pattern and put it under the first one, over the second, un and then keep repeating it, obviously, under, over, under, over, under, over. Just do that for the whole thing. So now I will weaved, sorry, all but one strip, and that is because I didn't have room to weave another strip. So anyway, I am done, and as you can probably tell, I did use my trick of putting the square pieces there. Peel the whole thing up. Make sure you clear tape the back of your tri-weave. Then just go ahead and tape the sides like you did at the top, a fourth of an inch, and just do that. and. Peel off any of these scraps that you need to, and then you'll be done. Now just take your ruler and cut it down to where you will have a fourth of an inch trim, and then fold that inwards so that way your weave has a nice round edge on the outside. And then now you can attach this to the rest of your bifold wallet, and then just trim it down, and there you have your tri-weave. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is my final wallet, as you saw in the beginning. So the tri is really cool. So as you can see, it goes, like, diagonally and up and down, or whatever it's called. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the tri bifold, and check back next Wednesday for Weaving Wednesday. Bye!